Hi guys, today I will discuss uh, basic memory mapping techniques. We do have a three kind of this techniques. The first one is a direct mapping, second one is a associative, and third is a set associative. These techniques are used to map one word of a main memory to the cache memory. Let's uh, have a look to the direct memory mapping. Now, in a direct memory mapping, uh, assume that the main memory has m words, cache memory has c words, and a block size is of d words so the address issued by processor would be something like this let's assume that uh, this is one address that is issued by a processor the size of uh, this address uh, would be log m bits okay now uh, for direct mapping I'll require two more quantities so P that is number of main memory block and that I will get by M by B M is the number of uh, size of main memory and B is the size of blocks so um, small P is nothing but number of main memory blocks Similarly, now small q, this is number of cache memory, uh, sorry, cache memory block. And that I will get by this formula, c divided by b. Now c is the size of cache memory and b is size of block. So the whole log m bit address would be divided into three parts. In a direct mapping uh, from the left side first part I'll call this part first part as a offset and the size of offset will be log B bits now here when we are using the log um, we always take base 2 just because we are using binary that's it so uh, size of offset would be log b bits so in the second part uh, the second part i will call the second part as a uh, cache block index and the second part has log q bits okay third part is the most crucial one uh, it is called tag so this part is a tag and uh, number of tag bits are log p divided by q bits okay so um, if, if we are adding the bit p divided by q plus q plus b uh, we'll get m bits okay fine so um, log m bits sorry so that's how in direct mapping we divide the address now let's take an example so in this example we have a main memory of 4 gb cache memory of 64 mb and block size is 64 bytes here uh, capital b uh, also referred as bytes so uh, in this example we have taken one word as one byte okay so um, let's find p p is number of main memory blocks and that would be 4 gb divided by 16 bytes and that would be 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 2 to the power uh, 4g that would be 30 and bytes so the 2 to the 2 to the power 4 bytes and hence we got 2 to the power 28 now this quantity would be unitless okay because uh, this quantity is nothing but numbers numbers of uh, blocks okay so let's find out q number of cache memory block and that would be 64 
एम बी डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटीन बाइट्स सो दैट वुड बी टू टू द पावर सिक्सटी फोर वुड बी सिक्स एंड टू टू द पावर ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई टू टू द पावर फोर एंड दैट वुड बी टू टू द पावर ट्वेंटी टू अगेन नो यूनिट फाइन सो लेट सी Now this is main memory word. So sorry, main memory address that will be issued by processor. The main memory address would be log four G bits long. So log four G bits would be thirty two bits. so this 32 bits will be divided in this manner the first byte from the left hand would be offset and the size of offset would be log 2 log b so b is here uh, we do have 16 uh, so we have a size of 4 okay this this is a cache block index and this one will be of size log uh, qubit so this would be of 22 bits and the final and most important tag bit will be of size log 2 to the power 28 divided by 2 to the power 22 because this is uh, p by q bits so it will be of 6 bits and that's how we divide one address of main memory into three part in a direct uh, memory mapping technique